good, you guys? Welcome, Welcome back, back to another, another video. video. As you can tell by the title, today we are going to be doing a story time on how we found out we were expecting our firstborn at the age of 17. So we were teen parents, you guys, you know. We're not the first and we're definitely not the last. And how our parents reacted. reacted. So before sure. we get into this sure. video, make sure you give us a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel and join the chronicles and just make sure you leave a comment down below all right let's get into the video so i found out i was pregnant with my firstborn i want to say it was august of 2010. when we when we i say about a year yeah, like we were almost, on a year. Yeah, we were almost a, year. a year. But prior to that, we were already talking for almost about the same another time, year. another yeah, year. Another so year. we knew each other for like quite two for two years. years. Definitely August, it was summertime. So um, we had already, you know, done, of course, some things we getting busy, you know, that led busy, to that. You know. So of course, I'm not even going to get into details no on shame, that. No sugar coating, no sugar coating. Um, so of course, I kind of already knew, I guess, you know. How did you know? I felt different besides the fact that I had already missed my period. Um, I kind of felt a little weird. Those were kind of sore, like I said. I had already missed my period. And, you know, I went out and I bought a pregnancy test. So, when I did that pregnancy test, the line was really, really faint. Enough, I mean, you can see it, there were two lines, but one of the lines were really faint. I was kind of scared, and I was nervous at the same time. Anyways, I didn't tell you. Well, first of all, how many pregnancy tests did you take? First one was positive, like, you know, lines. Um, and I was kind of scared, like, I didn't know what to do, what to, you know, really expect. And then, you know, um, I didn't tell nobody but my cousin, Crystal, at that time, I didn't tell anybody. I didn't tell my parents. I didn't tell him that I, I was pregnant. Know. I didn't even know. I told her first. We were always together. So I told her. He didn't find out until like two or three weeks later that I was pregnant. Which so, is messed up. What do you guys, comment down below. What do you think she should have told first? I mean, at the moment, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. I mean, when you're a teen and you're pregnant, your first thought is damn, like, I'm I'm still in high you school. Were you were scared. I was I was scared, you know. It was like I didn't know what how he was gonna react towards it. I was I was gonna tell my parents or you know or his you know mom. So I did the pregnancy test and I told Crystal. After that, the second person I told was my dad. I told my dad before I told my mom. And my dad, I thought, you know, he was gonna be like very disappointed and he was actually happy for me there's dads that are very strict you we know actually got along really well and too. my dad loved him so he was excited he was like listen you know um you're not the first and you're not the last you know it happens to the best families so he was like i told my mom and i told him no that i didn't tell my mom so i was nervous to tell my mom because my mom was more strict mm -hmm. than my dad like my dad was my best friend so he came with me to my mom's room and I told her that I had to tell her something and the first thing she said was, you're pregnant? Ah, she already knew. <laughs> and I just started crying, like, just the nerves. She kind of said she was disappointed because she wanted me to finish school and was worried about, like any mom, you know, about finishing school. So then we spoke about it, she gave me a hug and she said, you know, it happens, the same thing my dad says, it happens to the, to the best families. Us. Anyways, a baby's a blessing. So I told my mom. So then um, she went out with me to buy another pregnancy test. That's, I think I took like two more. That's my drug took, I'm gonna be honest, but really we just paying for brand. I took the off brand, like the ones you go find in Family Dollar for like 99 cents. Um, and like I said, you. You know, they all work the same. you just paying for the name. So that's pretty much it. A week or two weeks pass, and I take, you know, the pregnancy test, the second one, and that one comes out negative. So I'm like, okay, like, so then what do I do? Like, the first one was positive, second one is negative. I ended up telling him, and how did you take it? Like, when I first told um, you, truthfully. 
I was excited um, and I was scared also because at that time I was not working and I was still living with my mother. And then and then the room that I was in at the time, you know, was it was it was big for me. But then to have a, a crib and you know stuff like that made the room a bit small. It was cramped. Um, like my mother wasn't too strict. She wasn't like your mom. You know, I had a little more more like leeway. You know, I had a little more leeway. So, but you know, I didn't have a job. I didn't. I was still living with my mother. So financially, you know so everything financially was going through your mind. Yeah, because no one's ever really prepared to have a baby. You know what yeah. I'm saying? No one's ever prepared. So I was, I was scared, but I was happy because you know we was about to have, we were about to have a baby. You know what I'm saying? I was upset because she didn't tell me. I was the first one she told. So I was a bit upset, you know that. So that also came into play with everything that I was feeling. He was, he was jelly because I told my cousin first. I didn't want to tell him first. I, did, I don't know. I was just kind of hesitant. Like, I didn't know how he was going to react. Was that going to put like a strain on our relationship? Like, I wasn't ready to tell him yet. So I look like a scumbag. Yeah. I don't know. Y'all comment down below. Let me know. Do I look like a scumbag? <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, where I was, where I was last on, um, my mom and I went to buy two pregnancy tests. I had already told him about the first pregnancy test coming out positive. So with the pregnancy test then coming out negative, I was like, oh my God, you know, like I don't want him to think that I was lying about it. After the pregnancy test, both of them after the first positive came out negative. So my mom took me to the doctor, my primary care doctor at the time. And we told him that um, my mom wanted first to do a blood test. And we explained to him what was going on as far as, you know, first um, positive and then the other two coming out negative so to be on the safe side he said that maybe you know my body going through like just changes like hormone changes and things like that and that could be why maybe i got the, the positive pregnancy test the first time so he ordered he took blood from me that day and he said that maybe within 24 hours or 48 hours i'll they'll give me a call with you know if they find anything but for the meantime he prescribed me um it was something Some, to regulate the, the Yeah, he prescribed period. me pills to regulate um, <clears throat> my menstrual cycle. Something told me, just don't take it. Wait, you know, my mom was also like, you know. Didn't you take one? I took one, but it was just, you know, because after two, you know, negative pregnancies, I'm like, damn, you know, forget it. Like, maybe it's just, you know, maybe it is just changes in my body. I took one the first day. The next day I was like, you know what? I feel different. I'm not gonna keep taking this. Although, you know, we asked if there was gonna be any complications, if in case I was, or he said no, that there was no, you know, there wasn't gonna be any side effects. Anyways, I took one. Very next day after doing the blood exam, I was told that um it came out negative. Like, that I wasn't pregnant. So, you know, I was kind of like, damn, so what's going on? And then that Friday is when I went to school. 11th grader at the time. You were too, right? I think I was. So, you was in 11th. We were all in the same grade. So his cousin, Francesca, we met up every morning to go to school. So I want to say maybe like Wednesday we went to the doctor. So I was on the bus and I got like very lightheaded and I started feeling like like I wanted to throw up. I got very nauseous. So as soon as I got off of the bus and she was there waiting for me at the bus stop so we could walk the two blocks to go to school, I told her, I'm like, Francesca, something's wrong. Like, I don't feel good. Um, you know, I explained to her what I was going through and everything. And I told her, I was like, you know, when we get into the school, the first place I'm gonna go to if you wanna accompany me was to the, to the nurse. So I went to the nurse, um, she asked me if there was any possibility that I was pregnant, when was my last menstrual cycle, and I took, uh, you know, I had to give a urine sample. So she comes back and she tells me, oh, well congratulations, you're pregnant. And I'm like, what? what? Like, what? But I had, yes, but I had, you know, Test is done, like blood exams and everything done, and it was negative. So 
the first thing was I, I asked I was like um can I use the school phone because in the school that we were going to no phones there was allowed. no phones allowed so across the street the deli you leave your phone in a little brown bag with your name and your number and you give, and, a, dollar. And you give a dollar and they hold it until the end of the school day so I didn't so I didn't have my phone so I was like oh can I use the school phone so she let me call and I wake my mother up it's literally like 9 15 I had just finished getting to school like 20 minutes 30 minutes before so I call my mom and my mom's like is everything okay like what's going on and I tell her mom you're not gonna believe this she's like what I told her I wasn't feeling good on the bus and everything I told her I was like I'm pregnant she was like but how is that gonna be when you did an, a blood exam and I'm like I don't know I am pregnant and basically like my mom was very excited after that she was just very disappointed and long story short um I got to 12th grade and you know I dropped out but I eventually finished anyways so my mom was very excited so I confirmed with him and he went to go and tell to tell his mom and let them know how that went when I went to tell my mom we were actually outside so um where we live you know it's like a little it's like a it's like an area like a like a, little call, complex, like a complex area. like a little complex area so you know we used to go downstairs hang out with you all my boys you know uh, her peoples and you know so um she was drinking she was drunk so he thought he'd take advantage while she was so drunk that was the best time to actually you know to let her know that that you know Brenda was pregnant so I went up to her and I was like, your mommy, you know, Brenda just gave me some good news. And I was like, you know, she she's pregnant. <clears throat> and what was that about? She started throwing up. And <laughs> I'm not sure if she was throwing up because she was too drunk or because she couldn't handle the, the, news. the news. I was, it, it was, and I'm not saying it's every parent's, you know, worst nightmare that, you know, their teenage kid is having a baby. Like, we think about it now and it's actually funny because that's how she explains it all the time. Like, y'all told me when I was drunk and I started throwing up. No, we took up. advantage, we took advantage. So she laughs about it now. And at the time, her fear was what his fear was, you know. He wasn't working, so she was thinking more along in the future. Like, you know, how was my son gonna support babies, let alone a baby when right now he wasn't himself. himself. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I was, I've always worked out, I was always doing summer youth and everything like that. And, you know, at that time, I got a son, my grandfather. So, I was, I had money, you know, and I was putting money away. So, for me, I wasn't, I don't think I was as worried as he was. Whatever the baby needed, he, he ended up getting, you know, because like I said, I almost got a thousand dollar check every month. I mean, I think I did start working though. Um, I mean, closer as, to your due date. As my due date got closer, he was working um, as well. So everything kind of worked out, you know. Um, we'll do another story on how labor and delivery was for me. Oh man, and so you know how how a lot has changed when we did give birth to our oldest, which his name is Mason, and he's nine now. But we have another story time for that because a lot of things did change. Afraid also because I knew that at that moment, I wasn't living for me anymore. I'm living for you know for a child. So, for a baby. There's so I have no to human. change. I have to change everything. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't. I can't say that I didn't enjoy my. 20s. He could have been selfish. I enjoyed my 20s. You know, but. Not the way other 20 year olds would enjoy their 20s, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So everything changed. But look at it this way. Right now, we're 27. Our oldest is, you know, gonna be 10. So when <laughs> all our friends are raising babies in their 30s, we're already done. We already raised ours, and that's we when we could party. <laughs> Guessing that's the end of our story time. Um, like I said, we're gonna do another story time when I gave birth to Mason, which is, he's nine. That's our firstborn. And, and Elias. And Second also born. for Elias, which is our youngest one. He's four, going to be five. So thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, I hope you liked our story time. Um, leave some comments down below, you guys. I mean, it happens to the best of us. Um, that's our story on how we were 17 and found out we were pregnant and expecting 
and how we told our families and what was their reaction. Make sure you guys comment down below, please, and thank you. Yes, and just subscribe and comment down below, down there, right? So also make sure to follow us on IG, our social media. Yes. It is it's down in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, guys. Peace.